you reckon he suspects anything? No, no. Oh, he thinks it's just lunch. You are going to be there, though, aren't you? Yeah, of course. I've just got to take some books to the library. Okay, hey, you have done your... Yes, I've done my insulin. Stop worrying. I'm sorry. I just can't help it. And I've got my emergency kit, just in case. I'll be fine. Nothing's going to happen. No. All right, well, I'll, um, I'll see you at speed down later. Okay. My arm like this. Why are you following me then? Something I need to tell you. You broke into our flat. I know. I'm sorry. Well, I I'm calling the police. No, please just wait. I want to explain why I did it. Stuff you don't know. Okay, but have you had your someone up with you? Uh, no, she's, she's coming, though. I, um, just wanted to get you on my own first. Oh, what have I done there? Nothing that I know of. I um, wanted to give you this. I would get down on one knee, but, you know, we've already done that, so... <laughs> Some help me choose it. It's beautiful. Looks expensive. You, you don't go pawning it already. No chance, look. It's the best thing that anyone's ever given me. I'll never take it off. Sorry to ruin your romantic moment. There's someone you need to meet. They look very familiar. Do I know you? He's the lad who broke into the flat. What? Someone got run over because of you? He came here to tell us he's sorry. It is way too late for sorry. We should be calling the police. You can if you want. I'll tell them everything. Look, maybe we shouldn't be so hasty. I know what I did was wrong. I was messed up and I was angry at Paul. That is no excuse. And I saw someone get knocked down. It freaked me out. I got him with some bad people. It's like Seb. I shouldn't have gone in that car, but I did. That is not the same. We all make mistakes. Me, you, Todd. I think we should forgive Will. We'll give him a chance. Thanks for all this. I don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. But, Tim, um, you took a big risk coming here, so... You did the right thing. So where are you, um, where are you living now? In a hostel. It's not great, though. Dead noisy, my mum's diabetic. Well, that must be so hard. You need somewhere more permanent if your mum's ill. I'm diabetic too, so I know what it's like. Actually, I've, I've got some contacts at the council. Maybe I could speak to them, see if I can help with accommodation. <sighs> I'm just gonna pop to the loo. Diabetic? She might be. I don't know. I haven't seen your mum in ten years. Nice ring. Got to be worth a few quid, that. What are you playing at? Nothing. Just hanging out with my new mate. You stay away from summer. Might be tricky. She seems pretty keen. I'm warning you. Get me the rest of that five grand. We can kiss goodbye to all of this. I've told you, I haven't got the money. And I've told you. That's not my problem. Very quiet. Everything all right? I don't know, really. I'm just worried about summer, I suppose. Oh, no, should we be all right? She's only at Roy's. We don't really know this well, do we? Oh. 
Seems like he's had a tough life. Are we good if we can help him? I, I know that you want to save everyone, but some people might be beyond salvation. How do you mean? He's, he's only a kid. A kid who smashed up our home. Look, fine, let's try and get him a flat, all right? But we need to keep him at arm's length. You know what happened to Paul when he got too involved? Mm. You may be right. You're not coming up? No, I'm... I'm just gonna go and check on Summer, make sure she's all right. You are a good man. Yeah, hello. Can I um, speak to someone about getting a loan? Oh. Well, I was hoping I'd see you. What the hell are you doing here? He's come to apologise. For trashing the flat. Getting someone knocked down. How about getting me arrested and all? Look, I've, I panicked. I was scared. Nah. You led me on. You lied to me. What are you on about? Everything I told you was true. You're an abusive stepdad. You just pushed my buttons. He's told us all about his stepdad and how you helped him. You were the only one who listened to me. That's why I did the flat when you cut me off. I just wanted to get back at you. No, I think you set me up. I wouldn't do that. After everything you've done for me, mate. No way. What do you know about Todd? What? The one who's going out with the vicar? He's only just met Todd earlier. Is that right? Yeah, I swear I'm, man. What's Todd got to do with any of this? Look, I don't know. But me and Billy were fine until you showed up. That's what you said about Todd. You've got to stop blaming other people for your problems. Maybe, but I don't trust this lad. And you shouldn't believe a word that comes out of his mouth. Oi. Are you after me? Yeah, I am. Why am I banned from seeing Summer, but the lad who smashed up our flat can knock about with her? Hey, don't have a go at me about this. You were the one that brought Will into our lives in the first place. I, I was trying to help him. Look, you broke the rules by giving out your personal details. And so what? You just roll out the red carpet, take him for a curry, let him hang about with Summer? Summer can see wherever she wants, and I'm not rolling out the red carpet for anyone. I was wanting to call the police, but Todd stopped me. Todd, hey? <laughs> That's a surprise. And what do you mean by that? Well, Todd knew all about Will, didn't he? I mean, he worked at the helpline with us. Yeah, and your point is? Look, I don't know, but I know there's something not right about all this. Look, I'm sorry, Paul, but this is nobody's fault but your own. You were the one that got too involved with Will. I tried to warn you, and you ignored me. I'm not going to stand here and listen to your conspiracy theories. But, don't you walk away from me! Oh, Open no! this door! Paul! What are you playing at? I'm trying to get some answers. You're not going to get none like that, are you? I don't know what else to do. How many times you need to keep a lid on it? Right, come on. Come back to ours. Chez has got four babies there that need the nappies changing. Come on. All that poo will calm you down. Yes, this is Mr Grimshaw. What, what do you mean you can't give me a loan? I emailed you all the papers that you asked for. I need to speak to a manager. No, I can't wait till tomorrow. Who's that? Oh, so my mum winds me up again. Is him some still out? Yeah. So we've uh, got a flat to ourselves, have we? Oh, I'm sorry, Billy, but I've still got work stuff to sort out. Well, this time? Yeah. I've got a funeral tomorrow, and we've been distracted all day with our engagement stuff. Oh, before you go, Paul was on at me earlier. What did he want? Uh, banging on about you having something to do with Will. Me? I've never seen the lab before. Apart from the break-in? Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, apart from that, obviously. Look, Paul's just trying to cause trouble. It's like with the note. He's jealous. Yeah, that's what I thought. It must be hard for him, seeing us so happy. Yeah. George? Is anyone here?
No one thought you had it. Paul, you have one job. Do you want me to help you with shopping or what? All right, keep your ear on. Oh, Fake Corbin. Huh? Okay, okay. Working late, aren't you? Yeah, just tying a few loose ends. You all right? You look stressed. Yes, I'm fine. Oh, I um saw that Will lad earlier. You know, from the outline. Yeah. Me too, actually. So he said. <laughs> that was a real blast from the past. I always wondered what happened to him. Billy's trying to sort him and his mum some accommodation, I think. Mm. <laughs> it was great to catch up. They had a big old chat. Problem with Will, though, is you can never tell what's true and what he's making up. Can you? Well, no, I've never really spoken to him. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I forgot you two don't know each other, do you? No. I mean, I don't really know him either. But looks like he's going to be hanging round now that he's mates with Summer. <laughs> they said they were mates. So that'll give me a chance to find out everything about him. Can't wait. Well played.